What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 89 part 4 the final show of 2021. So of course if you missed any of the action in the previous three parts then please do be sure to go over and check them out. So as you can see we're kicking off our final part of the show with a women's tag team match. We have got Mialjid and Ray, the inaugural women's tag team champions. And they'll be taking on former NWO members Queen B and Pinky Ness, of course Pinky the current BUW Women's Champion. So who is going to get the win here? Let's find out. So if you guys do enjoy this one then do me a huge favour and be sure to hit that like for Mike, slam any comments down below. And most of all, do not forget to hit that red subscribe button and switch on your notification bell to be kept up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. Making their way down to the ring first, Meow Jid and the WWE Women's Champion Ray, the Rage Queens. Was the first ever BUW Women's Tag Team Champions. Making her way down to the ring so first, Michael, or next I should say, long, long representing time. the NWO, Queen B. And Queen B and Wendy uh, fell short in becoming women's tag team champions back at uh, Christmas Massacre. But of course this young lady Queen B has uh, picked up some huge wins in recent months. I'm sure there's only a matter of time before there's championship gold around her waist. And speaking of champions... Here comes the BUW Women's and Champion. From England, the WWE Women's Champion, Wildcat, Lisa 
Byron, what can we expect to see from these Making two teams her way down to the ring next. Fully expect to see the current BUW Women's Champion, Pinky Ness. Good these teams are. And we were... And we found out earlier on tonight who uh, our next challenger will be for that championship. And at the Ruthless Rumble next month, she will be defending the title the way I see against it, guys, former champion Chelsea. An and that should be a five-star classic. She didn't give it her all here. That's just who she is. That's why she currently sits atop the women's division. She doesn't give a half effort in anything she does. Of course, Pinkiness, uh, who did end the lengthy reign, the record-breaking reign of Alice Sarah back at Survival Games in November. From Stampede Wrestling to so far, has been a, WWE, Calgary, a fighting champion. Over the years, and this matchup is sure to not so Ray, sorry, Miyagi and Queen B starting things off for their respective the teams. Oh, 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 oh. Controlling the tempo. Queen B with a headlock. Oh, and the right hand to me, Algid. It's come down to a battle of attrition right Waste now. Lock. In full control. Control. Algid's with the switch around. In full control. Harsh impact. Algid with the takedown. And Algid throwing Queen B across the ring. Drop oh, kick man. attempt thwarted. Gets out of dodge there. Wow, what a sequence. Arm drag counter. Irish whip across the ring. No one there. Oh! Crucifix from the Algid. What's up? Running Bulldog. Tag in. And in comes the WWA Women's Champion, Ray. The tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Explode a suplex by Queen B. The traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out. Oh, there's a shin breaker. Now trampling the opposition. Snap mirror takedown. And then a kick to the back by Queen B. And in comes the BW Women's Champion, Pinky Ness. And facing off for her against the former BW Women's Champion in her own right, Ray. Snap me a takedown from Ray and driving the knee into the back. In a tag match when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tags Rib breaker. until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, net the breaker. superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Ray in control of uh, the women's tag champion. Makes here? a tag to Meowjid and oh, makes the boot of Meowjid. Of course, uh, Meowjid wants a measure of revenge against Pinky Ness. Meowjid, who uh, stepped in at the last minute in place of the injured Alice Sarah. And there's a tag to Queen B, and you can see the teamwork is still there between the two former NWO members and Queen B on the cover and a near fall just a two count Queen B stunned she couldn't believe that was only two but she's dealing with a multi-time women's champion in the Algid look at this abdominal stretch the Algid with the escape Drop kick knocks down Queen B. In off the tag. And in comes Ray. Oh, and Queen B with a pendulum backbreaker. Pendulum backbreaker stretch. Gets the tag. Another tag into Pinky Ness. So we've got the. Uh, Got two, the, the two champions in here. Who's going to get the Saito the suplex control. from Pinky Ness. Danger. 
dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Ray gets the boots up. Couple of elbows by Pinky. Oh, and look at electric chair into the face buster, and uh, this could be a game changer right here. Another tag to Queen B. There's a double back body drop. Queen B into the cover, and another near fall. And again, Queen B can't believe it. The chop from Queen B. Follows up with the head scissors. And Ray able to make the hot tag to me, Algid. Drop kick to the knee. And me, Algid, with a slap. Another drop kick to that patella. Oh, not by the hair. Meowjid throwing Queen Bee across the ring by the hair. She better check her fingernails to make sure you don't got clumps of Queen Bee's hair. Oh, and a forearm to the face. Queen Bee goes into the cover. Just a one count. A counter from Queen B. Meow did with a counter. Oh, we're stripping to the corner. Shoulder tackle in the corner. And another kick. And Meow did choking out Queen B. Meow did being absolutely ruthless. And Ray in off the tag. Queen B with, the, with an STO takedown. And Ray kicks out two. Oh, and look. Oh, my God. Look at that strength by Ray. Ray's no slouch, as we know. Right hand there by uh, Ray. And there's a knee left from Queen B. Oh, we're stripping to the corner. Tags in Pinky. And look, oh, look at that double team. Ray doesn't really have a clue where she is right now. Oh, sidesteps Pinky. And drops Pinky Ness there. Drops the women's champion. And in comes Meowjid back in off the tag. Queen B. Sorry. Meow. Or should say Pinky Ness. In taking control of the matchup. And a near fall. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. It's Mike O'Clock. Right between the eyes. Off the ropes. Oh look. Oh lovely takedown. She must be close to finish now. And Pinky doing some push-ups. This match is over. It's that simple. We'll rarely see anyone do push-ups in the middle of a match. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Pinky lining up Meow Jid. Rack attack 2.0. And will that do it for the win? It will. And the team of Queen Bee and Pinky Ness win the match. It's amazing tag team action here. As Queen Bee and Pinky Ness sign off the year with a victory and that that's uh, Rack Attack 2.0 to uh, Meowjid was a message to the number one contender Chelsea I have no doubt of that
some very tough competition. She really anyway, here are your winners of the match. Pinky Ness, the BW Women's match. Champion, watching, and the Queen Bee. Seems like they were both still in sync after time apart. And next up, folks, of course, it is that time of the week once again. It is, of course, say it with me, it is main event time. And we're going to sign off the year with the BUW World Heavyweight Championship on the line. It will be the former champion, Ian Berg. And he'll be taking on the man who he lost the championship to in Psycho Dad Jesse. And the question is, will Jesse be able to keep hold of the world championship and keep it in the Psycho's camp? Of course, earlier on this evening, we did see uh, Lucas Hackett, unfortunately, lose his Intercontinental Championship to King Dominator for King Dominator to become a two-time champion. Will the same be said for Ian Berg? Will we see a two-time world champion in Ian Berg? We'll find that answer out in just a few short minutes. And a third of three championship matches. One title changed hands and one stayed where it was. Oh, and by the look of it, folks, Ian Berg's gone back to his old ring entrance and his old ring gear and he just glitches through the door the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the world heavyweight championship introducing the challenger from England, weighing in at 241 pounds, Ian! Here we go, gentlemen. Huge so, of course, Ian is a Grand Slam champion. Has won every championship there is to hold in BUW. Will look to be, once again, be called World Champion. If he gets his way here tonight. Looking to derail... Jesse's momentum. And of course, just a few moments ago, we saw Ian Berg's wife, Pinky Ness, score a huge pinfall win in a tag team match, along with Queen B against the Rage Queens. But Can Ian Berg follow suit? Huge opportunity in front of him here. Well, he doesn't look too intimidated right now, Cole. So, yeah. I'd what a way to, to end 2021. World title on the line. And introducing the champion from Florida, weighing in at 248 pounds. He is the Psycho Daddy Jesse. As a reminder, the title is and making his match. way down to and the, the ring next. Certainly going to have an representing the Broken Psychos. Sure. The new BUW World Champion, Jesse. And Jesse has uh, vowed not to let anyone down here tonight. As we said before, one of... One of mine and Jesse's teammates, Lucas Hackett, unfortunately lost his title earlier on. 
And of course Jesse will do anything in his power to keep hold of his. It's been a mixed bag for the Psychos tonight. Lucas and David Labby losing their respective matches. And uh, Wes, of course, scoring a huge win over the current Mr. Journey to Gold, Hunter. Guys, I think we can all agree that this is easily one of the biggest matches and Jesse will look to the career. sign of 2021. Really saying something considering all the high profile and keep hold up till now. of that big gold belt. The first ever hardcore champion, former United States champion, former international tag team champion, the king in the ring, and of course the current world heavyweight champion. That's what it's all about right there, folks. Will Ian Berg be a two-time champion? Or will Jesse retain? Who's going into 2022 the gold belt up for as the world heavyweight champion? And who will be defending the title at the Ruthless Rumble next month? Referee holding up the belt. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. I see an ounce of doubt in the champion. He absolutely believes he's leaving tonight. Ian Berg dropping Jesse the one knee with the wrist lock. Jesse wrestling Ian down to an armbar and pulling on that arm. And Jesse with a Lufaz press on Ian Berg. And look at Jesse's shirt. He's. he's Changed it again, saying, "All oh, hail the champion." Stick. You know these superstars are going to give. I'm sure Ian both got to have something to say about that. Strong kick. My goodness. At the moment, Stay it's all Jesse. Great ups. Just a a kick to the back. There. Stomp on the lower back of Ian Berg, and, and drops the elbow. Piercing. Oh, and the chop echoing. And targeting the arm again. Right now, it's been all Jesse. Ian does not have an answer at this precise moment in time. Oh, and hung out to dry. European uppercut from Jesse. Oh, Ian with an answer of his own. Elbow to the back of the head. And follows up with a fall away slam. Swinging net breaker to Jesse. Kick to the midsection. Pump handle applied. Pump handle slam. And the tables have turned. And Ianberg now in control. And Ianberg going for it a second time. The pump handle slam. He continues to a counter from Jesse. Elbow. Another elbow drop. The oh and again God. targeting the arm of Ian Burke into the cover. Just a one count. No it's going to take a lot more than that to knock off Ian Burke, and he knows it. And look at the power on Jesse on show. Oh, Unbelievable. Kicked in the midsection and another kick. As a net breaker again, follows up with a backflip. Ian Bogue got the counter, roll through into the knee bar. This could do some serious damage. And Jesse able to kick off Ian Bogue. How much damage has been done to the knee? Ian Burke has Jesse by the throat and look to show his strength and slams Jesse into the mat. Kick to the back of the knee. Another swing in net breaker. And Jesse rolls to the outside. 
heads into the ring. Very interesting game plan here. Overhead, belly to belly, throw. And Neon Burger going into that zone. Gut wrench release, suplex. Of course, the cameraman getting a good view of the action here. Ian Burke goes crashing to the still steps. And they have no give. Ian Burke gets sent across ringside. Uh oh. Go for the ride. Oh, what an uppercut. An uppercut from Jesse. And another right hand. And another. And another. Jesse lighting up Ian Burke. Well, there's a counter from, from Ian Berg. Right hand from Ian. And another. And another overhead belly to belly front. That was right in front of our cameraman. Oh, and Ian Berg gets sent crashing into the steel ring post. And as we know, uh, when flesh meets steel. Still wins every time. European uppercut from Jesse. Bringing Ian back inside. Jesse has vowed to be a fighting champion. Just like he did when he was US champion. A super kick hits its mark. Cover. And Jesse just like that keeps hold of his gold let's take another look at these guys in action I thought to be fair I thought Jesse took a little bit of time making the cover but he managed to see off Ianberg once and for all and just thought Jesse well he looked a bit tired to be fair and he gets the one two three over Ianberg to close out the year So here is your winner of the match, I don't and still BUW World Heavyweight Champion, representing the Broken Psychos, Jesse. And Jesse closing off 2021, and goes into 2022 as your BUW World Heavyweight Champion. And the question now is, who's going to be the next man to try and take that title? Off of Jesse's shoulder. And Jesse being the man of his word so far. In his first title defense as champion. Is able to see off Ianberg. And will he be champion going in at uh, Wrestleverse this coming year? We'll have to wait and see. But that, folks, is going to be your lot, not just for this week, but for this year. And 2021 has been another big year for BUW. And we go into 2022 on a high. So if you have enjoyed this week's episode, guys, then do be sure to go to all four parts and hit the like on all of them. Drop any comments at all would be really really helpful and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications to be kept up to date with all things gaming and of course all things BUW like I said guys speaking of BUW we, we are done for this year but we'll be back in 2022 bigger and stronger than ever but until then, guys, until the next show, from myself and my family, on behalf of everyone here representing BUW and the whole community, I want to wish everyone a very happy and safe New Year. Lots of love to you all. Hope you have a lovely, lovely evening, lovely time. But until next time, guys, I've been your host for this one, Broken Mike. Take care, and I will catch you all again very soon for some more B.
BUW action. Until then, take care, much love, peace out, and Happy New Year.